Okay, Lala, where is this treasure? We've followed the map all the way through there, and now we're going over here, and I think it should be just somewhere around here. What? What? You see it? Oh, there it is! X marks the spot. You're right. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Should we dig it up? Okay, so let's take this shovel that you brought. That was so smart of you to bring a shovel and see if we can find what's in here. Oh my gosh. What is it? Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so cool. Wow. Okay. It is a real live treasure, isn't it? And how does it open? Oh my goodness, let's pull it out. There's a big clasp right here. I bet that's how you open it. It's all rusty, huh? Must be old. <gasps> it's old treasures. Wow. Look it. Oh my gosh, it's jewels. Is that what you wanted? Oh, you thought it was going to be full of toys. Well, how about jewels? I think jewels would be nice. Yeah, these are pretty nice, huh? That's exciting. Wow. Hey, Ridgeview Kids Club. How are you guys? I'm Miss Lolo, and this is Lala. And we are on a treasure hunt. And guess what we found? We found the treasure. It's so exciting. Oh my gosh. It's treasures full of jewelry, which, you know, you always see in those pirate movies. Um, it's so exciting, and that's going to be exciting for us today, isn't it? Yep. Yep. There's treasures here on Earth. But you know what? There's other treasures, too. And you guys, I bet, have treasures of your own, right? There's some things that you really like that are really important to you, like your favorite blanket or your favorite stuffed animal. Um, right? You have those too, don't you? Yeah, there's important things. But there's one thing that's a little more important than those. Do you, do you think you know what it is? It is Jesus. You're exactly right. Yeah, Jesus told a parable about the hidden treasure. Did you know that? Nope. So you guys remember that parables are a way that Jesus talks to the people so that they can understand more about the Bible, right? They didn't really read, so they didn't really understand all the stuff about the Bible. And so if he could just tell a story, then they could understand what the Bible was all about. So he told a story about hidden treasures. And it's in Matthew 13, 44. And it goes like this. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure that a man discovered in a hidden field. <gasps> just like this big field right here, right? Yeah. The man with the farmer was on his way to the village and he walked across his neighbor's field. And as he's walking along, minding his own business, he looked down and, oh, he found the treasure. In his excitement, after finding that treasure, in his excitement, he um, hid it again because he didn't want anybody else to find it, right? Because he wanted it all to himself, but he couldn't take it because it wasn't his land, right? So he hid the treasure so nobody else could find it. And then, guess what he did? He went home and sold everything. He sold his house, he sold his car, he sold um, all his extra clothes. Oh my gosh, he sold everything. And then he took the money and paid the owner of the field so that he owned the field. That's smart, isn't it? That way he wasn't stealing the treasure, he owned it. But he, yeah, that's pretty exciting, isn't it? What do you think was in that treasure? Maybe a million dollars? Could be, I don't know. It was just a big treasure that was super important to him, right? Yeah. Well, following Jesus is really our treasure, right? We can love these jewels all, the, all that we want, but we need Jesus in our hearts and we need to love him because he's gonna be with us our whole life and after. And his, he, he is the only way to the kingdom. Plus, he forgives us for our sins. And that's super important. Do you have any sins that you need forgiven? Yeah, so do I. I know, yeah, but, God, but Jesus is going to forgive us for those sins. He loves us that much. And he also has a whole new way of life for us. If we can love him, he loves us, and it makes our world so much better. Oh, my gosh. It's so much better than a lot of this jewelry and stuff that could just get stolen anyway. So, but there's some people that don't even know Jesus, right? Yeah, that's sad. He, and then there's some people that know about him but don't really believe in him. And so he's kind of hidden from them. They can't really see him. And they can't really feel, feel his love, which is so sad. 
right? Yeah, so I think if we have friends like that, we should share Jesus's love with them so that they know that it's so much better to have Jesus's love because it's gonna make our life a lot better, right? Yes, so um, another thing in this parable is what happened after he found the, um, after he found the treasure. That's right, he went home and he sold everything. He gave up everything. So in order to get Jesus' love, we need to sacrifice some things. We need to give up some things. And can you think of an example that we might do? Yeah, yep, 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 I hear that. Yeah, so if we had a friend that maybe didn't believe in Jesus, in fact, they kind of laughed at us because we did believe in Jesus, well, that wouldn't be very nice, would it? And so, in order to make Jesus happy, we maybe should give up that friendship, right? Yeah, and then maybe Jesus will enter their hearts and they'll learn to love Jesus and then we can be friends again, right? Yeah, so sometimes you have to give up things that are really important, like a friendship, um, or you have to give up some jewels or some treasure of your own, but then you get Jesus's love and that's so much better because it, it just makes you feel so good, doesn't it? So guess what? Jesus gave up something for, for, to love us, right? <laughs> You're right. He gave up his whole life. I mean, that's the biggest sacrifice of all, right? Yes, he gave up his life to love us and so that we can love him back. And that's amazing, isn't it? That makes you feel pretty good, doesn't it, that, that Jesus loves us and that we can love him? Yeah, I think it does. I think that's the best way to go. So let's say a prayer to take us through the week with this treasure story. Dear Jesus, when we get all excited about our treasures here on earth, please remind us that you really are our best treasure of all, that you love us and that we love you and that you will always be with us no matter what. Please help us to share this message with our friends and family this week so that this whole world can love you as you love us back. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was a good one, wasn't it? I'm looking forward to sharing the treasure of Jesus with my friends, right? Okay, well that's great. Well, it's been good to see you guys, and we look forward to seeing you next week for another parable with Lala. And now we probably, even though Jesus is our bestest treasure, should we get back to this treasure? Okay, we're going to get back and see what's in this treasure because there's a, more stuff in here. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's pearls. Wow, those are gorgeous, aren't they?